DUI to a potentially dangerous security breach at Spokane International Airport. You have the right to remain silent. More information tonight about that manager at Spokane International who was caught drinking and driving inside a restricted area. Uh, this is a video from the traffic stop that we now know airport officials were aware of the problem for several hours before Robin Billigmeyer was finally pulled over. KXLY 4's Jeff Humphrey here to explain why this security breach is such a big concern. Jeff? Robin, you know, it's the proximity of an impaired driver to the dozens of aircraft that take off and land here at Spokane International every day. Police reports show in the moments before he was arrested for DUI that Robin Bellemeyer was here in the maintenance shop that he manages. Now, fortunately, he got in his truck, he got on the service road, and he drove out of the airport without incident. The current concern is what would have happened if, because he was impaired, he had missed this turn right here, gone just another block further, and he would have been on an active taxiway. The thing that really concerns the aviation community is if he had missed that turn, made two more wrong turns, and would have been on the active runway. What's your name, Robin? Robin Billigmeyer. Robin Billigmeyer was pulled over by airport police a little past 11.30, January 15th. They called this state trooper to the scene when officers realized they had stopped an airport manager. However, police had already been looking for Billigmeyer for several hours. According to a police report, as early as 9.30, there were multiple reports of an airport employee who was very intoxicated and on airport property. At least two hours would pass before Belligmeyer was finally spotted leaving this gate, running a stop sign, and then began speeding towards Spokane. How much have you had to drink tonight? Um, maybe two or three. Belligmeyer admitted to drinking three whiskey and Cokes between 3 and 5 in the afternoon before heading back to the maintenance shop that he manages. It's not clear if Billigmeyer is typically on duty during those hours, but airport officials are even more worried that Billigmeyer was behind the wheel and behind security fences while under the influence of alcohol. We're obviously we're very protective of the airfield environment. It's, it's safety and security of the airfield is our highest priority. But we also are obligated to protect our employees until the investigation is fully complete. Hunk XY4 has now filed public records requests with the airport to learn if this is the first time that Bellig Meyer has been suspected of drinking and driving around this airfield. An attorney hired by the airport to investigate safety claims against Bellig Meyer in the process of issuing her findings. Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.